2018 and we're already off to another roaring start with the deaths of the last surviving original member of Motorhead, Fast Eddie Clark, Ray Thomas of the Moody Blues, and my personal favorite music producer, Chris Sanger Eats. But those are topics for other videos. Today, I have a very special treat. Back in early December, I was asked by my local television provider to film a live rant to air on Channel 5. Needless to say, I didn't exactly say no. Sit back, crack open a brewski, and without further ado, here it is, folks, my television debut. Hello, I'm Richard Michael Egan, and we'll be talking about the future of music and movies. We are literally in the age where we can bring back deceased actors and musicians from the dead or de-aged geriatric actors who are too old to play a part in a movie. Brandon Lee in The Crow, Oliver Reed in The Gladiator, Jeff Bridges in Tron Legacy, Paul Walker in Furious 7, Peter Cushing and Carrie Fisher in Rogue One, Sean Young in Blade Runner 2049. This CGI technology has even been going as far as using the likeness of people who are unavailable to physically film a commercial, such as with Kimi Raikkonen in a razor blade commercial a few years back. What's even worse is now this technology is being used in music too, basically doing the exact same thing but with concerts. Stages are now using what's called a Pepper's Ghost named after scientist and inventor John Henry Pepper and this technology uh, creates the illusion that the musician is actually appearing and performing on stage. The best example being during the 2014 Billboard Music Awards, a Pepper's Ghost was created for a live performance of Michael Jackson during the song Slave to the Rhythm. Now recently there are now entire tours using this Pepper's Ghost technology. Ronnie James Dio who passed away in 2010 now has an entire set where the band plays but a hologram of Dio performs with backing vocals. And now ABBA announced that in 2019 they'll be embarking on an entire tour that they won't physically be on. Mind you, the entire band's still alive as we speak, so people are going to go see a concert without the band actually performing and instead watching holograms on a screen perform for an hour and a half. What this is doing is taking the experience of going to see your favorite artist in person performing physically in front of you. And who knows what the future holds, you know, maybe in the next 10 years Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd will embark on these hologram tours and movies will be featuring a resurrected Charles Bronson or a D.H. Clint Eastwood. Look, we get it. It's the modern age where everything is basically a glorified way of saying, oh, look at what we can do. But let's assess the situation here. Get real painfully honest with ourselves. Do we actually need this? Look, it's cool and all we can make Jeff Bridges look 30 years younger in a movie, but bringing K Peter Cushing back from the dead for an entire film, he didn't act in that movie, he didn't play the part, he didn't get to see the final cut of the movie, he's dead. You basically cut and pasted a corpse's face on some other dude. And mark my words, it's only gonna get worse. You know, in the next 10 years, we'll probably be seeing movies where, you know, you can bring back Robin Williams for an entire film, just cut and paste his film, his face on uh, some other body double and have Jamie Costa do his best Robin Williams impression. You have a movie set to go, but you wanted Alan Rickman to play the main antagonist? Go cut and paste his face from Die Hard and there you go, new film. Are you beginning to grasp the concept of why this isn't exactly the greatest thing for the next few years of movies and music? Look, it's great in small quantities, but it's getting to the point where it's been too much. I'm Baphomet. Cheers, Metal Maniacs.